Good morning. Thank you for joining me. We're continuing to read out of Matthew chapter 6, and all of this, Matthew's chapter 5, 6, and 7, are from what we call the Sermon on the Mount, when Jesus shares all of these teachings to a gathered crowd of disciples and other onlookers. Jesus is continuing his talk about how we are called to serve God by talking about prayer. And he's instructing us to dig a little deeper spiritually, to call ourselves to a little bit of a higher calling. Uh, This is Matthew chapter 6, beginning in verse 7. And this is the origin of the, uh, the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Jesus says, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others your trespass, their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So do not heap up empty phrases. It's not about how poetic your prayers are. It's about how real your relationship with God is. Prayer is a conversation. You don't need to have all the fancy words. In fact, it's probably better if you don't. Because as Jesus says, God already knows what we need before we begin to ask. Prayer is about us choosing consciously to enter fully into that relationship where we bring with our heart, mind, soul, and strength our thoughts, our concerns to God and invest in that relationship. Jesus begins this prayer, our Father. Relate to God as if God were the perfect Father, perhaps the one that you never had. Relate to God as a person, as someone you trust, respect. Pray for God's kingdom, for God's will to be done. Pray for God to give you what you need because God is ultimately the provider of everything that we need. Pray for God to forgive you first because you have forgiven those who needed it from you. It's a both and. We can't forgive unless God offers us forgiveness, but we can't truly accept God's forgiveness unless we are willing to forgive others. Be merciful as God is merciful, Jesus says elsewhere. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. It's a simple prayer. It's one that enters into relationship with God, asks God for what we need, promises that we will do our part, and recognizes God's place as a powerful protector, someone who loves and cares for us and will act on our behalf. When you pray, I hope you feel encouraged to pray however it comes to you, whenever and wherever it comes to you, to simply enter in to conversation, knowing that God is ready to listen. Let's join together in prayer now. God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, God, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Have a blessed day.